Guys, in the last video, we learned how to integrate the Google Sheet API with the Spring Boot project, and we also learn how to retrieve the data from the Google Sheet. And now, in this video, we will cover how to create Google Sheet API. Let's walk through what we have done till now. So here, if you see, uh, we have uh, in the last video we created this endpoint get data with the help of this. Uh, API we are able to retrieve the data from the Google Sheet. We have added the code in the Google API utils. Right. Now for uh, creating a Google Sheet, we will create new endpoint here. Public. I'm taking a string uh, return type as a string. Create Google Sheet. Right making it as post mapping <clears throat> request body i have already this google sheet dto so i'll 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 use this dto as a request google sheet dto request return type is null so here uh, we have to create uh, one method in Google API service and the method should be more relevant to the problem. So method is self create create sheet passing this request object. Here we have to put the endpoint name create. We have to create this method in the API service. Here. And uh, since uh, we have put all the code in the Google API util, so let us create this part as well in the Google API util. Create Google Sheet. The request should be passed as a param here. Create method. Right. So here the method is created. Before going ahead, let's let's first check this Google Sheet DTO. Right. So here we have these two uh, two params. One is sheet name and another is data to be updated. So in this video, we will only cover the creation part. We will not add any we will not insert any data into the sheet right so before going further we have to do some uh, refactoring and should make our code more reusable here we have the sheet service this this service object we required whenever we are going to do any operation with google sheet we require the service object so in that case, let me refactor this. You can simply select this and uh, refactor extract method. Get sheet service. Okay. Right. So we here in case of data retrieving, we are using sheet service. You can use same sheet service here while creating the sheet as well. So we need to approach right so to create a google sheet we have a object here spreadsheet properties spreadsheet properties spreadsheet this is called the name spreadsheet properties spreadsheet properties dot set title you can add so uh, based on the requirement we can based on the requirement we can add properties here here i'm just using the title so what is the title the sheet name should be the title just get sheet okay now we have we have to create one sheet as well. A spreadsheet is a different and sheet is a different. If we check 
in the Google Sheet. If you check in the Google Sheet here, so this is the untitled spreadsheet and this is sheet 1. So this is the complete spreadsheet. Each spreadsheet should have multiple sheets. We can create multiple sheets. So for that purpose, in the code side itself, we have to have this part, sheet service, sheet, sheet properties, sheet properties, it's equal to new sheet properties, okay, right, the sheet properties again we require to the titles, the titles, and the title should be more Sheet. Here both the title is same. We can segregate title. So, now mm, we have to add properties in the spreadsheet object. Spreadsheet. 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 Dot. Set set properties properties set okay and before setting the spreadsheet properties we have to hit new hit sheet dot even we can add to Set properties, sheet properties. Set properties. Dot set sheets. Here we have to add the list of sheets. So since uh, we are use we are uh, only adding one sheet now. So we can simply use collection collection dot single list and uh, sheet. Now we require the service object service dot spreadsheet and this create method. This is this will this method will help us to create the sheet and this is the execute method. This is the execute operation we can say. To execute this, create. Right. So here we require we have to like uh, I just wanted to return a uh, spreadsheet URL here. So we'll return a spreadsheet URL. We can directly return from so this part. Right. Right. Okay. So we are done. Right. Let's run this application. Okay, we are getting some errors. Well, API service. Okay, we have to add the rules. Still, we have errors. Dashboard controller. Have to do the same thing. Okay. Start this application. Right, so the port is, port is 8092. So remember, I am using the, I have defined the port here 8092. Otherwise, it will be run by default 8080. Okay. Right. Let's run the API. Let's hit the API. We have this get data API. Earlier we uh, we have already implemented this API in the last video. Let's hit this. Right, so we are getting some exception on here. Let's see what is the exception. Token has expired or revoked. So here uh, the token is expired or revoked. Okay. Here we do we will do a small change. 
token directory path let's see this is the token directory path the token uh, like what we have uh, used in the last uh, session may be expired or uh, revoked from this directory so i'm just doing my small change here i'm just storing this part the system system dot get property and here it should be my system let's run again this now the application is started let's hit the api okay now we are getting response so these data are coming from the from the google sheet api which is provided by the google for testing purpose okay right so now we will check this uh, api this create sheet api because we are, uh, the help of this uh, endpoint we should be able to get the new sheet so let's check this part i'm just copying this uh, endpoint here then add another one will be the endpoint the method should be post <coughs> and this should be changed create sheet delete sheet now here in the body we will check the raw and here we will pass the json right so what is the input we need to check so input is google in the google sheet dto sheet name i'm just considering sheet name as an input over here right now sheet name okay and here the sheet name is beginner okay. we are expecting our sheet should be created with this beginner our spreadsheet and sheet name both should be created with this beginner let's save internal server error we are not handling the exceptions in this video so that's why we are just getting this uh, except the, the ex exceptions but we will get the we will get we will get the actual cause in the console what is the issues so here um access token is called insufficient insufficient permissions request had insufficient box permission so in the google api util as we have seen in the last video we have this scopes and the scope is a spreadsheet underscore read so if we have this permission we cannot uh, write or create anything in the sheet so we have to change this permission so this is the permission spreadsheets okay let's let's try with this and see what right still they are getting exceptions okay 403 error info means we need some more permissions over here right so we are actually missing the drive permissions whenever we require to create google sheet uh, google sheet in that case we require drive permissions as well so before that we need to check the google console like uh, our credentials here credentials we have already given the uh, scopes here the scope is set here the, this is the scope part google sheet api auth drive see edit create and delete all of your google drive files whenever we are creating any sheets this should goes to this will go to our google drive okay 
so this permission is required so here we have already added in this code if you miss this permission so make sure this permission is added here in this course so let us update that uh, permission over here sheet scope sheet scopes dot drive okay so here we are getting because singlet it's, it's a singleton list we need to change this Erase dot list. right let's restart the Let's it again. Mm. We are still getting exceptions. What is the exception now? Insufficient permission four zero three. Permission denied. Request had insufficient application scopes. This this might be because of our token because of our token so we need to check uh, for for now i'm just uh, changing the path of token okay just to make sure we should not use the existing token so the new token will be generated over here in this path right so let's start the application again started let's hit the yay yeah. right now we are able to get the response here we got the google sheet api response here this is the url we are expecting you can copy and paste into the browser right beginners so this sheet is created the spreadsheet is with beginner and the sheet is beginner itself without any data so in this video we have only create, created the google sheet in the next video we will up, we will create a google sheet with the updated data thank you for watching